Hey there, Johnny Daniel, your Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Hey, I thought I would show you how to make these nugget trays that I've been doing um, for the fairs, but I thought I'd show you one in case you want to make them instead and um, see where it goes from there, right? So, so for this project, I got a bunch of stuff, but obviously you need nuggets to call it a nugget tray, right? So I just bought a family size of Hershey Nugget variety pack. If you want to do a certain one, whatever. So however many nuggets you're going to do, you need to have that many papers to cover. So the papers are one inch by three inches long, FYI. And then the tray that it goes in, um, if you're doing five of them, it's two and a quarter by six. And then on both sides to create the rails, the tray, um, it's scored at three, eight, three eighths of an inch on both sides, okay? So we're gonna fold those up so you can see what I mean. You can use a bone folder if you want, up to you. And then you're gonna need a bag that's two inches, two and a quarter inches by eight. So, because you got to get it to fit in there, right? So, all right, so here's my bag, if you couldn't see it before. All right, and then my tray's going to go over there. I've got a little tag that's cut. You can use whatever you want. That's not the point. All right, so we're going to grab our tear and tape. This is the main event. I'm going to show you a quick trick on, if I can pick these up, if um, a quick trick on how to get these all glued and into place really, really quick. So you're gonna line these up butt to butt and you're gonna, okay? So you're gonna line them up opposite of what you want because this is where your glue is going down. But you're gonna line them up, make sure that you have no gaps in there and here's the why because this is tear and tape, right? So you're gonna go across and we're gonna put it completely like so. Push this one in, tack it, and put a little bit more right there. You're like, hey, you're gluing them all together. Yeah, but this is tear and tape. And tear and tape does more than tear off the roll. You can also tear it. Okay, stick it down real good. Okay, so here's the fun part, ready? So before you pull it off, tear your tape, and then you don't have to do little bitty pieces for every single one. How awesome is that, right? So there's that. Okay, now, Take my backing off. Take my backing off. If there's a little bit on the edge, just roll it. All right, so now, so these don't unwrap under the tension, I want whichever way I am doing my paper, I want the tab to be going down that way too. So for this one, because I'm gonna be pulling to the left, I want my tab to be going down towards the left. So that way, as you pull, you don't like unwrap your candy. Yes, you gotta think about that. So, so we're gonna grab here, and we're gonna go around, and we're going to put down so there's one, okay? And yes, I'm gonna do all five. Gotta show you the whole thing, right? So, paper going the same direction so it doesn't pull up. It's the details that matter, right? Let's pull that down. Okay, round and round and round we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave these up because I need to put another piece of tear and tape on the top there. Okay. 
Okay. So grab to the left. Spin it around. See how fast these go once you got it assembly line? Okay. So leave it upright. And I'm going to peel both of these so I can just be done. You see how easy that was though to stack them all in a line? Love that. Love tips that make it easier, right? Okay, so now we're going to grab here and flip around. We're going to grab here and we're going to flip around. You want to do this in a cooler room so your candy is not already melted as you're starting because it's hard when it's squishy. <laughs> we'll just say it that way. Okay, so here's our tray. Instead of trying to find the alignment, um, what I'm going to do is put the tear and tape on my candies instead. So we're gonna go here. Go here, go here. Two more. Okay, so we're gonna stick these here. One. So whichever pattern you have three of is what you're going to start, start with rather. So I have this pattern here. So this, we're going to go towards the middle and we're just going to stick it down centered front to back and up and down. Then we're going to go opposite pattern. See how easy this is? But if you don't glue them, you end up with them sliding down and that just, it doesn't look good. Unless you want them that packed, but personally I don't. So and then we're gonna fold these back up, grab our bag, try to get it in there, pinch this side so the side goes down a little makes it easier to stick it in there, in theory. Well, come on. Just because you're trying, right? Okay. So we're going to throw that in there. So now we're going to grab some ribbon. This is, uh, what kind of ribbon is this? I got this off the clearance rack. Knight of Navy. And this is bordered ribbon. And then I've got some natural twine. So what I'm gonna do is grab here. Yeah, I'm gonna cinch this down loosely so I can still put the twine underneath it. So just like that. Okay, grab a section of twine. Throw this under there. Maybe. Okay. Throw it under there. Okay. That's for the tag. Now we're going to squinch that tight. Making sure that bag doesn't look mangled. And then we're going to tie a quick bow. Keeping that twine out of the bow. Harder than it looks, believe it or not. See, wants to go up in there, huh? So pull it out, keep it going. Okay, trim off your ends. And then we got to do our tag. So my tag, on one side, we're going to do background, background of leaves and trees just for fall kind of stuff. And then the other side, we're going to do 
So I've got crumb cake. Um, on the other side, we're going to do um, some words and a tag and that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, let's see here. So that's one side. The other side we got to do. Clean your glass mat afterwards so you make sure you don't have ink so it doesn't transfer to your other projects. Okay. All right, so that's done. So we can close up our crumb cake. And then I'm going to grab my Knight of Navy. If you see that your ink is not um, perfectly aligned, then you need to re-ink. And what I mean by perfectly aligned, if there's like a lighter spot, if the edges are darker. So that's about to need to get re-inked because I've got a few of those. So and then I've got my to and from. Okay, and that is my tag that I'm going to tie onto my nugget tray. Maybe. Let's see. I actually wanted this side up. Now we get to do this again. All right. So now. Just going to tie a quick knot. Want it hanging down a little bit. So tie a quick knot, trim the ends, and then we will have our tray all done and ready for you. So, alrighty, so there you go. There's our decorated fall nugget tray. So just thought I'd want you'd want to know how to create it. So I hope that helps. Follow me for more stampinwithjohnny.com. Thanks and leave comments if you like it. Thank you.